Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this quick video, I'm going to walk through packaging and deploying Lambda functions for Alexa skills using the AWS Management Console. And I'm doing this video because in most of my other videos, I use the AWS CLI. And if you're just getting started with uh, Lambda or skills development, deploying using the uh, AWS Console is, is quicker to get going with and, and easier to understand. But there's one little thing that uh, that keeps popping up that I, I, I want to cover here that can be frustrating if you don't know what's going on. So when you're in the AWS Management Council to create a new Lambda function, you would go under the Compute section here and then go to Lambda. And then uh, from the Lambda uh, area, you can go create function like this and then I'm going to choose author from scratch and if you're using your function for an Alexa skill then you also want to set a trigger and for a custom skill the trigger would be the Alexa skills kit like that and then you go next and give it a name and I'll just say hello world and um, down here where um, it prompts you for your lambda code you can either your options are to edit the code inline or upload a zip file in most cases <clears throat> when you're creating lambda um, or when you're creating alexa skills and using lambda you're probably going to have code that has dependencies and so you're not just going to be editing the the code in line here you're probably going to have like for example node modules and and uh in, in multiple files that you're going to need to uh, get up here as part of your lambda function so you're almost always going to want to upload a, a zip file like this and so this is where uh, it gets not tricky but there's one little thing that uh, comes up all the time or i see it pretty often that can be frustrating when you're packaging your code from your local machine that you're going to upload to the management console what you want to do is you want to just zip the code that's going to be in the root of your zip package the mistake that a lot of people make is they'll zip up the parent folder that the code exists in on their development machine so in my case here this src folder you don't want to do that you want to just select the individual items that are going to be part of the package and these items need to be in the root of the zip so you would select those individually like i'm doing right now and then compress or zip just those items so i've got my uh, archive here my zip package and this is what i want to upload in the uh, management console so then i would go and just select that zip and uh, upload it like this Select my execution rule and create function. And so that's the right way to do it. It's really simple. Again, just the, the one thing that you want to make sure of is when you're zipping your code, your, uh, your source code, that you make sure that the code that you're zipping up is in the root of the, uh, the archive or the zip file. And you do that by selecting those items individually. And then of course, when you make an update to your code, you're gonna upload a zip file that contains the updates and you're gonna do that in, in the same way. So hopefully that is helpful. Again, this is uh, an, an issue that I see come up quite a bit, which is why I wanted to create this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those. If this video was helpful, uh, please uh, like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks so much.